We are officially now four days away from the release of Citadel de Moor, also known as Citadel the Dead. This map was announced for December 5th, and since the announcement, we've seen a few different screenshots and even an intro cutscene. So in today's video, I thought we could break these down and go into better detail. So strap yourselves in and let's get ready to go on a ride. I think it's good to say that I have one of the most controversial opinions on Citadel de Moor. In my recent video, I discussed why the zombies community loved Liberty Falls and how it succeeded in amongst both new and old score fans. Whilst I praise Liberty Falls for its openness and ability to provide a decent canvas for camos, levels and prestige grinding, I really hope that Citadel of the Dead won't be another casual experience. And what I mean by this is, I hope we don't spawn in and just feel like the map is super open, easy to learn. I'm hoping for a more traditional zombies where you need to strategize. And for example, you might think, I need a gobble gum here. This gobble gum is gonna help me, so I need to hit that gobble gum machine as early as possible or I need to get myself that armor so I'm going to save points for it because I need it I won't survive in later rounds or even the fact that you need to buy that wall weapon because my loadout just isn't quite right yet so that your weapons actually feel like they're underpowered from the get-go for me the Beauty Falls was great for its openness its casual play and I just hope that Citadel of the Dead feels new and challenging and I think it should take time to master with a harder pack-a-punch quest cool side easter eggs and plenty of lore as well because we just need that extra depth for the characters and the environment and i mean i understand that we get the depth from radios and collectible intel but just that aura inside of the map is needed and as of right now i'm a bit skeptical because the last couple of installments haven't been the best for zombies however black ops 6 is shaping up nicely and nearing even surpassing cold war in some ways and we've got a nice range of weapons as well it's hinted that we might even see swords with elemental properties which is reminiscent of the Isendrak and gives those good old school vibes and using a castle as dlc1 just caters to old fans and it feels like fanfare which i just love to see i'm also hoping for new and improved dialogue for the characters that we play as because while the story is interesting so far and i really am enjoying the project janice stuff i'm enjoying the samantha ai stuff i can't wait to see what's going to happen with croft i mean he seems to still be lurking around in the shadows we also have the sentinel artifact which is back from the black ops 4 storyline and i think it's pretty cool how they're bridging the story between chaos and dark Aoife because while they said it would never be done I think it's definitely a good idea and a definitely a good direction as well especially since when we're playing through the chaos storyline we learn so much about Greek mythology and one of my favorite characters from the chaos storyline is Stanton Shaw because he just has some really awesome quotes and I believe he is a character that was done well with a lot of depth and some really unique dialogue that added to the story and tone of each map especially when you look at his quotes from ancient evil he developed so much as a character from the map 9 right up until the pinnacle of that storyline. And I just really hope that we get some more depth like this on the same scale of Black Ops 4. And whilst I think that may be wishful thinking, I think it would be awesome. So I'm going to hold out hope. And I do want to say as a side note that I really like Maya's character. And I think it helps that we have that common bond kind of thing with the Terminus ending just really adds to her character and makes her a proper badass. And I like to see that. But I definitely think we need better dialogue lines whilst playing the maps just to add to the map's aura it could be something like weavers talking about a certain door and how it looks weird it could literally be talking about the knights of the round table that have been there i personally don't know much about the real life castle and i know it has nothing to do with the knights of the round table but it could be about the knights and the crusade on that particular castle using some of its real life lore and then injecting that into zombies that is one of the biggest reasons for why this game originally succeeded or why zombies succeeded so I'd love to see more real life lore being added into Call of Duty Zombies and then being referenced. Now that I've given some of my opinions, let's talk about the intro cutscene for this map. So when this cutscene starts, we see a figure or a person that's looking at a photo. We get to see that there's Ravnov on it. There's some writing on the photo and we can also see Samantha Maxis. This character then points his gun towards who ends up being Reva and the crew. We have Maya, we have Grey. They get into a bit of a confrontation. They continue to sort of have their dialogue and then it goes back to Maya. Maya's losing her absolute shit. She ends up hitting a zombie with her knife. We end up seeing Peck. Peck gets saved by this character and then they jump into Citadel de Moor. Now that's just a brief summary of this intro cutscene and if you guys want to go and see this I'll leave a link to the official COD intro cutscene for Citadel the Dead. And talking of story this cutscene does offer more story. However I am still skeptical because I felt that the cutscene was kind of lacking 
lacking in areas and it kind of reminds me of when the walking dead got criticism for zombies not being a threat anymore however it is still a nice little cutscene and obviously we spoke about wanting some form of story and that is definitely what it offers i don't know how much depth is really in this cutscene but that is yet to be seen in the whole experience especially when we get the end cutscene overall this cutscene didn't get me extremely hyped for the map but it definitely does set us up for what's to come and luckily without this intro i'm already excited to see citadel of the dead because for me black ops 6 has been an awesome experience and for the first year where i've actually been willing enough to go after a mystery camo or mastery camo i'm actually going to be able to proudly say that i'm going for nebula and it's honestly been a long time since i even considered going after a mastery camo grind but luckily i am still very excited for this map now we have two different screenshots that we can have a look at and i'm going to give you my opinions but before we do that let's look at the original teaser image my first thoughts when i saw this image was just how yellow it was i was extremely worried thinking are we just going to get a yellow filtered version a bit like what we got with the archon which had a green filter and was just terra maledicta in disguise and i honestly don't think it's going to be that bad i don't think it's going to have a yellow filter or that it's going to be some ugly map i think this was just the art style that they kind of went for and once we get our hands on this map it's going to be awesome i said previously Previously in another video that I felt like this looks a bit like the tier 3 zone from MWZ Zombies with similar architecture and I can see why people compare this map to to Isendrak it is literally a castle and the only difference is it doesn't have snow and we also have two other screenshots that came with a tweet that said the village was never the same again and I can confidently say that these two screenshots really gave me hope for this map and I say two but there are actually three of these in this first image we can see that there is a well there's also some houses and there's also a stairs that also leads to inside the castle there's also a watchtower there's a lot to see in this and what i like about it is just how small it looks it looks like it's going to be a challenge to survive and in honesty it's these screenshots that have made me even more hyped than the intro cutscene and yet again here's another screenshot we have an even better view of the castle we have what looks like a sort of cannony kind of thing with the massive lion's face on it and maybe we're gonna be able to load this thing there's also a fire and there's a little transmitter sort of thing over there so you can sort of see that you've got like your signal radio tower and yeah it's really interesting i love what they're going for the vibe on this map and it looks overgrown it looks bashed up it looks like it's been through a war and literally like it has a story to tell and i think that this particular screenshot is the craziest because we actually get to see the inside of the castle we can see a throne we can see the knight statues we also can see that there's a massive rubble of like the roof and there's bricks that have fallen because the roof has collapsed honestly it just looks so damn good and i can't wait to get my hands on it so also on top of this they have a really sick looking logo and i wanted to show you guys this i know that some people have said it's really basic it's bland it's not that great but honestly who asked i think it is great i think it looks really good and i think it's such a good thing for youtubers as well because being able to have a logo for the map in the corner of your thumbnail this just honestly is amazing i love this and i really hope that they continue to give us unique logos for each of the maps going forward as i really do think that that sets the different videos apart for content creators and also the map as well because it is really nice to be able to have a logo for the episode that you're about to play it's also been teased to us that we are going to be getting a new enemy type that lurks the halls which i hope will be terrifying to encounter also during season one we're getting a new field upgrade a new perk and even a new alternative ammo type and it's going to be awesome i hope the map is a grind and has plenty to do so let me know down in the comments down below guys what do you think of citadel to more are you excited for this map let me know anyways guys i'm interested in having you been absolutely awesome and i shall see you guys in my next video if you haven't already make sure to go join my discord and check out all my social links down below but until the map releases i shall see you guys in my next video